Hi guys! It's Roxanne here from CND. Welcome to Manny Monday. Hi! Look at everybody. I'm going to give everybody a minute to join. Hi guys! Welcome! Hi CND! CND World fans! We are super excited to get started with CND's first of its social education lives, starting with today. Hi, Chris. Um, I'm going to dial in or get Jan in here, my partner in crime. So give me a second. Let's get Jan on. Right. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Jess. Good to see you guys. There hi. Hi, 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 everyone. All right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all set up here. Ah! Okay, we almost <laughs> fell over. Yeah, turn the other way. That what? Hi, Winnie. Oh, uh, do I have to go vertical? Yes, go the other. Uh, way. Uh, uh, so I'm laying on my. Okay, I had it all set up, and I had it set up wrong. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> okay. Okay. How's that? Perfect. Yay! Hi, everybody. Uh, we got Winnie, Samantha, Chris, Tracy, uh, Nails by Mets. Hey! So thank you guys for joining. We're super excited to actually um, kick off your Monday with something very different um, from what we've ever done before. Uh, but again, you know, we're in different times and we've been really thinking about this and unfortunately focusing on um, things that we can do. You know, we have a lot of things that we can't do right now. So we, of course, at CND are opportunistic and very positive. And we're like, what can we do? Well, we know we can offer great education. And we know we can rely on this great community of nail pros that we have. Hi, Andrea. Um, and Terrence uh, Terry. I have <laughs> talked to Terrence Terry in like 5,000 years. Hi, oh. Terry. Everybody's on. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you for joining. It's so nice to have the support because this is our community, right? I mean, we're so passionate about nails at CND. Yeah. And this is really, this was our opportunity to um, give some community support and how grateful we are to have the most talented pros. We're constantly getting a stream of inspiration coming at us at all angles. So, um, so we're here to off we're going to be doing daily education from cnd um in lives in little video clips we have feature friday which we're going to feature you um so send us your stuff and let's keep let's keep the positivity going because there will the day will come when we have to get back to work get back into the salon yeah. or stores and um and what does that look like you know that's what we're thinking about what does the new business model look like? You know, maybe taking this time to um, to reflect on your services, your business, um, your business plan, and uh, use the time to maybe get some new skills, inspiration, so that when you do go back to the lawn, it's really, really great. Good to see you guys. Good to hear from you. So, Rox, I know that we were talking about like all the questions we get from consumers or every time I do a magazine interview, the most common question is what can people do on a regular basis to have fabulous nails, not just for special occasion, but always, always right. fabulous nails. And we have a theory that we call our three C's. And for me, it's such an easy theory using three C's. Number one is care, caring for your nails on a regular basis. Like, what does that mean? Like for me with my ski jump nails, I wear enhancements, liquid and powder. So for me, I have to get in every two weeks for my rebalance. If I go three, it doesn't work for me. No. Um, for another client, it might be Vinylux for seven whole days. So 
whatever care means for your client or for you personally, commit to it. Put it in the calendar. Make sure that care is a priority because you'll never have great nails if you don't have a regular regimen. So that's our first C. And then we're going to go in a little bit deeper into each, right? <laughs> and so, I want to give a shout out real quick to Chris Kiss. Treat them like jewels. That is not <laughs> tools, not tools. Yeah. I found myself trying to like hook up my equipment this morning and I'm like, oh my God, I can't do this with my nails. It, it would be tragic, especially now. You don't want to break a nail, right? Oh so, yeah, so care is number one. Number two is condition. You know, we learned many, many years ago that if you're using a lightweight oil like solar oil, that jojoba will go all the way through the coating into the natural nail. Yeah. And, um, and create a cushion effect. And we'll go into what conditioning really means for our clients. And then the third one, which I think is my favorite, is coat. Keep your nails coated. Do you know, Rox, it blows my mind, and I know our people out there will agree with me, that when clients say, oh, I, I have to remove my coating, to allow my nails to, say it with me, to allow my nails to breathe. Breathe. I mean, seriously. I remember Doug Shoon back in the day going, I don't hear anything. I don't hear them <laughs> breathing. So we'll talk about codings, why they're so important, why they're so critical. But the three C's, man, it's like, it's gonna get us through and then it will carry us beyond this yeah. situation we're in and may I just share something rocks before we go in look what I found in my garden this morning oh and it so lucky and it matches my outfit you isn't that amazing to live in California and have beautiful flowers like that well you know what they're just blooming everywhere but we've had rain 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 and finally we have sun and we need it, we need sunshine. So I'll send sh sunshine all around the globe and we'll keep these amazing flowers. Ah, see, inspiration. Uh, exactly. That's awesome. Jan, you- uh, A mug of flowers, yes. A <laughs> mug of flowers. And they're real, they don't even look real. No, Aren't they amazing? Me. I know, nature, God, you know, it is mother nature going, I'm here for you, everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> Well, uh, and new beginnings, you know, here's to regrow beginning. new beginnings. Exactly. Uh, and I was going to say, you you know, I remember the three C's. Just to back up really quick before we go into uh, the first C, which is care, which is the most important. That's how we're sort of starting out our week with with um, CND social education is care is sort of the under our theme here. But I remember learning the three C's, and I saw a couple of um, people clapping, so maybe <laughs> one of them with the three C's. This goes back to... 20 years, 30 years ago. I mean, this is a basic learning the three C's when I started with CND 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, it really is a foundational component um, and a really good piece of education to, to share with your clients. Totally. Totally. So should we dive into Dive each? in. Go. Dive in. So, you know, when we talk about care, I think for me, it's a consciousness of wearing nails, protecting your nails. You know, we're all in this situation when we're under stress, driving in the car. I find myself doing my hiking and my walking. And, you know, back in the day when I was really young, I was a nail biter. So it's instinctive to me to excavate with my, with my fingers. I'm constantly searching for cuticle and constantly searching for like something to pull. So a part of care is A, getting the appointments in the books. Like if you know you're going in, if your clients are booked with you, then you're gonna pay extra special attention to your nails. But the other trick, and this sounds so simple, I've been in the car, I've been in meetings, I've been wherever, and I'll find a tag of skin and it will drive me crazy, especially driving, especially yeah. driving. Yeah. I don't know what it is. All the time. I, so this sounds, this is actually, this is a little Revlon, little Revlon clipper do, 
And if I find a little tag of skin or I pulled something, whatever, I'll go in and just <laughs> take it to the root of the little tag. And then I always, I never, my little makeup bag, I always, I don't carry the little wood, you know, the solar oil for wussies. I carry <laughs> the big mama solar oil, the nipper and the solar oil, red light, man, I hear ya. <laughs> and, and you put that on, you smooth it in. And then, you know, then the temptation goes away. It's really important to remove that temptation. I also, once I get to the office or wherever, I then will whip out my trusty girlfriend buffer. And Rox, you taught me this trick. I love this trick where I will we'll actually take the buffer and r like soften and Fine remove off the skin. The calluses, right? Right, you yeah. do it yourself. Always, always, because I just saw Samantha say, I pick it. I do too, girl. I am constant. I'm a thumb picker. I'm constantly looking for little um, probing for little bits of skin on my thumb. And if I cut it, it actually, or I could make it worse. So yes, Jan, I am, I take my buffer, a soft, fine buffer, and I smooth it almost like you're doing a pedicure, you know, exfoliating gently, and then there's no more skin without cutting. So that's a great option. Yeah, but a little trim, like if I pick it, then a week later I have to go to a show or I have to go to an, an event and then I look like a picker. Like yep. uh, in this nail industry, our nails are under the microscope. Like we cannot pick. So we do have to model it for our clients. You know, the other myth that just blows my mind for many years, this has been a, a truth or a myth, not a truth, it's been a myth in the industry and amongst consumers that you cannot file back and forth on a nail. Like if I find I get a little chip or a little nick, if you're using, I love my trusty Kanga board, and this one is, I keep it clean, I, you know, I keep it like in my bag, and I will use it back and forth to smooth an area on my nail. And if it's 240 and if you use a light touch, Go back and forth. You can keep that clean. Um, I'll even go in with a boomerang because it's nice and soft. And, um, and, and then you really avert disaster. If you have a Kanga, you have the girlfriend buffer, you have your solar oil. And rocks, I, yes, I can't find mine. Okay, <laughs> it, mine's downstairs. Yeah. So a cuticle cocktail. Yeah. It has to be a regimen, right? Like. I train myself. Once day is done, the running is done, I get home from work, do the cuticle cocktail, and it feels so indulgent, right? Putting solar oil followed by cuticle eraser, which is a blend of AHAs. Yeah. And it will micro exfoliate that dead, dry skin and daily use. Okay, couple that with in the tub. I love a good bath put a little beautiful oil in and I will take a washcloth and push back my cuticles with a soft, lovely washcloth and a little glycolic that I use on my skin. And it's really, it's unbelievable. I mean, I'm a cuticle producer, like in a big way. So I think, you know, our cuticle cocktail regimen of, of, um, of the washcloth in the tub, uh, cuticle cocktail and what was that comment? Cuticle cocktail and maybe a real one too. I, somebody <laughs> said that, I saw that. And then my favorite cocktail, if we're gonna get really honest, is, uh, well, I could show you. Should I show you? Okay, yeah. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run and show you. I'll be back. Take it away. So, thanks, Gia. <laughs> Thank you for all your amazing comments. I think that if there's anything you take away from this is that we love our cocktails. <laughs> and well, all right, I'm back. What are you doing so, there? This is my favorite. So this is my devil glass. Oh, cute. Isn't it the cutest thing? And I have had these glasses. Well, I had like 15 of them. And I, now I only have two. So they're, just so you know, they're my party glasses. So I'll put a, a martini olive in, and then here's the secret, in the freezer. 
<laughs> it is vodka. Russian vodka in the freezer, and I pour it up to the horns, up to the devil horns, pop, pop an olive, a little olive juice, and I want to tell you, we have to do, let's do cocktail hour. I know Beth Livesay is doing cocktail hours, so we'll have to do the same. But here's the key, devil glass and frozen <laughs> vodka, just saying. <laughs> And then, you know, if you want to talk about the care of your nails, you don't care anymore. After that, done. You don't care. <laughs> you don't care. That's awesome, Jan. I love it. And cheers. Cheers. See, I can always depend on our nail community to, like, be ready for a party. Like, it's party time. Yeah. It's only, like, 10. What time is it? 10, 15 in California. Yeah. Yeah, Wendy, but we're already into day drinking hours, so that's good. Totally. Good. Um, well, what else? Is that it for care? Well, that isn't, that really isn't it for care. The only other thing I will add, okay, we're getting back to business now, is care for every client is a different kind of care. Like, I think that's the other major thing. You have to tap in to several things the client's nail type, the client's lifestyle, um, the, the regimen of maintenance that they're willing to um, endure and commit to. Like for me, it's a, it's a bargain. You have to have that conversation, get an agreement. What are you yeah. willing to do? And if a client wants to wear longer nails like me, man, you gotta get those appointments in the books. If you miss one appointment, it, it's not pretty. So I think the question for our clients is, who are you? Who are you as a nail client? And if you walk in with incredibly blessed nails, gorgeous curves, beautiful thickness, antithesis of mine, then you, for that client, a simple coating of Vinylux, do a beautiful manicure, do a deep oil treatment, and then put a couple of coats of Vinylux these days, I'm telling you what I'm wearing. It's my favorite thing to stretch a mani. I'm wearing powdered my nose, two coats, super thin, and ice vapor. I'm not sure you can get it anymore. Mm. So something similar, to, but I, I have treasured a bottle of ice vapor, one coat, and it's like so, hi Dubai. Um, <laughs> it's so, it's such an easy, easy way to wear your nails. But for those blessed bitches, out there <laughs> who can wear vinyl box. I want to tell you something, you blessed bitches. I haven't worn regular nail polish in 45 years. I've, I've worn nail enhancements for that long. But if you've got challenged nails like rocks, you have kind of challenged I, nails. I do. I'm not a blessed uh, bitch, that's for sure. <laughs> but challenged nails, put a coat of Brisa gel, put a coat of something that will protect, and then you lay your shellac over, beautiful. But then for me, cursed nails, liquid and powder, baby. Like, liquid and powder, nothing is as strong, is as hard or protective. Yeah. And believe me, I've tried everything, and I adore all of our other options. But for me, liquid and powder is the way to go, especially if I want to go long. Yep. Right? And I and one more thing. I'm a major CPL girl. Do you know what CPL is? CPL, center pocket lifting. I'm the CPL queen. So I find applying liquid and powder using perfect colored powder and doing a double dehydrate, like doing a scrub brush followed by nail fresh, one hand at a time. L and P is life. <laughs> Melissa knows. Yes. She's the queen of the extreme nail enhancement. CPL, scrub fresh, nail fresh, one hand at a time, perfect colored powder, excellent mix ratio, and then do it in very thin layers, then build the architecture. And I can make it two weeks, maybe on my working fingers, I'll get a teeny bit of CPL. But for the most part, it does the trick. So there, uh, there's really, honestly, we're so lucky that technology 
allows mm -hmm. us the toolbox for every solution for every client type vinyl X shellac for blessed something a little stronger brisa gel underneath for challenged and l m p melissa peachy you and me babe that's it <laughs> That's awesome. No, and there was a couple of questions coming through, Jan, while you were talking. And um, one of them was, can you use cuticle eraser over your LNP? Absolutely. Cuticle eraser is, is, a, is a, it's a gentle exfoliator for the skin around the nail. Uh, so absolutely, you can use it on any client that wears LNP, that wears gel, that wears shellac. Um, just really a good home care treatment and an excellent retail opportunity. For salon life. Totally. Hi, Bonnie. Good to see you. All right. So, condition. Should we go into condition? Yes. Which is actually my favorite C. So, hair is yours. Condition is my favorite, Jan, because again, as the nail pro myself, I do understand the challenges that our clients come to us with. And it's always uh, splitting, peeling, delamination, um, breaking. Um, and tell me if you agree with me here. Clients are always like, my nails are so weak. I want strong nails. Give me strong nails. Mm -hmm. um, and, <laughs> and you know, it's, it's really, a, you have to understand what does strong actually mean? I think what clients mean is they want, they want tough nails. Yeah. They want nails that are, have a nice combination of strength, which is inherent, right? I mean, we're, we're, that's what comes from within. Um, the cross links of the nail actually take up the strength, but we also need the combination of flexibility that gives us the, uh, you know, the bend of the nail that's going to withstand the rigors of life. So um, toughness is really what they mean. And when we sort of go back to, you know, the elements of, of nail school, and we learned this from our great friend, Doug Shun, um, who, who talks about this all the time, you know, nail plates are filled with moisture, right? And that's water. And water is, is everywhere. I've got my little, my little tubes here to show you. So you can see one's water, one's oil. And this is basically what gets absorbed into the nail. And water is the moisture that we have no problem <laughs> getting in our nails all day long. We're hand washing a lot these days. We are doing dishes. We're cleaning. We're, our, our nails absor absorb water like nothing else so quickly. Um, but they also could, um, they release that water. That water is constantly being evaporated. So that's the challenge with water. Even though it is the key source of moisture for our nails, it's constantly being absorbed and then released. That constant contraction, absorption and contraction um, could be or is the leading cause of brittleness and breaking of, of nails. So that's really when people say water's so bad for the nail, that's what they really need. But now where the oil comes in, and this is key, this is the conditioning part, where the oil comes in is the oil creates almost like a, um, like a waterproof sealant for the moisture. So when you add oil to the nail, it locks in the moisture or the water, which is great because then you have a really nice of oil and water that and the more oil the better because oil is definitely a better lubricant and it creates a lot of flexibility um, slow moving it, it sort of cushions the nail lubricates the nail but prevents it from breaking creating more flexibility so conditioning and, and my gosh we've said it a thousand times in the past 20 minutes conditioning with a really good quality oil, uh, like CND Solar Oil, which is um, naturally light for oils. Uh, those fans, you guys know them. Jojoba oil, rice bran oil, vitamin E, and, and sweet almond oil. That's it. Um, this is the big daddy size. And, and Jan, this is the size you were talking about. Yeah. The guy. Uh, big size. I love this for salon. It actually does come with a dropper. Uh, which is awesome for, for at the table in, in the salon use. But conditioning daily. Clients don't realize. They go, oh, yeah, I got my solar oil. Um, I've got that bottle you gave me, like, you know, for Christmas last year. I use it once in a while. But it's really important for 
them to use their silver oil uh, or any good cuticle oil for that matter daily. Um, yeah. Because it has a cumulative effect. You know, if you use it once, you'll see um, results with your skin. It'll feel softer. It will feel a little bit smoother. Um, but when you start using it daily and, and that oil starts to uh, really penetrate through the plate layers, it actually has that cumulative plasticizing effect on the nails and that's when clients really start to notice the difference and they go oh wow you, they, the nails stop breaking they start looking and feeling uh, healthy and more more flexible and pliable um, especially if you ever have clients that wear enhancements and they get the peeling underneath of the natural getting really dry and peeling away from the enhancement so solar oil or, or conditioning the nail daily will actually help prevent that uh, challenge from happening. And so. Rox, I'm watching some of the comments, if I can address some of the great comments that are coming. I saw one comment that said, the reason you're getting CPL is you're using too much oil on your nails. So I'd like to dispel that as a myth. Once you get excellent adhesion of your technology, whatever the product is, and the keratin of the natural nail, it forms what we call covalent bonds, the coating to the natural nail. And the only thing that can disrupt that is if you really use your nails as tools versus jewels, if you bang them, if you use them and there's no resiliency, then you hit your nail and it wants to come apart. Mm -hmm. But if you get that covalent bond, if you dehydrate the surface, use your liquid and powder or whatever product you're using at the right level, nice thin layers, beautiful bonding to the keratin, then what the oil does is it adds resiliency and cushion. Mm -hmm. Instead of those layers wanting to pull apart, they give and move, they, they're soft and easy. And, and that's why when a client is not using solar oil, they come back for their rebalance you can see that there's been joggling around of those molecules and jogging around of the layers. But when it's, when it's tough and it's resilient, then you're getting long-term sustainability right. and beautiful wearability. I can tell on my own ski jump nails, obviously application is key, but if I don't use solar oil, mm -hmm. my, the, the coating gets dry. I have natural nail overlays. My own nail gets dry underneath, and that's when you start to get separation. Mm -hmm. But once you get that lockdown adhesion, keep it tough, keep it, keep it flexible. Yeah. Also, we had several people asking about remover wraps and um, being able, um, having difficulty finding the remover wraps. So, Rox, do you know, uh, do you know uh, what's going on with remover wraps? Um, I don't having know. a hard time getting them? Um, I, ha I haven't. I haven't. I would absolutely check back and we could, we could message. We'll direct message back and forth. Um, we can provide some solutions for, for the challenges, uh, but I, I have not heard of that, Jan. Mm -mm. Okay, so we'll get an answer and we yeah. can post that after our Instagram live. Also, um, someone said that they really loved Lux, Shellac Lux. And mm -hmm. I have to tell you, oh, those colors, the bottle, the presentation, amazing. And, you know, Lux was a beautiful, beautiful product. But what we found is that it didn't satisfy the needs of the broader community of uh, clients. And we're finding that clients are wanting to stretch their time between removal and rebalance. They're stretching the time between appointments, especially now in this situation. I would imagine when we come back, people are going to try to find that three-week wear. Yeah. And with Lux, though it was lovely, it was a much softer product. And I don't know. I know I miss my Lux, too. The colors were so beautiful. Um, but you know what? I have to tell you guys, after being 40 years in this business, um, I remember back when we had, well, from Solar Nail to Radical to Retention Plus, every new innovation leads to the next big idea. And science and technology is cumulative. 
So in, in any inconsistencies that we found in Lux, we can use that as our knowledge to make our next product and our next big uh, innovation even better. Um, and, but I don't know, secretly, I have to say I'm with you. I love the colors, I love the softness. Um, but I'm afraid most of our clients are bangers and crashers and unfortunately probably using their nails as tools, not jewels at all times. Well, and I'll tell you one great thing that came out of Lux was that brush. Man, that brush mm, and is a gem. And in fact, you know, you guys all know, or many of you know, we actually switched over the shellac brush, the original black. So all of our shellac colors, base coat, top coats, all have that beautiful uh, curve hugging brush that, that Lux gave us. So good thing. And, yeah. and, and we're going crazy for neons. Oh my God, we need neons. You know, and I know that some of the problem with neons is some of the pigments are not um, are not approved by by FDA. Um, they're not legal to use, uh, but there are alternatives pigments that we can push the color, pump it up. I'm with you, like especially going into summer, bold, bright color. I think you'll really be happy with our upcoming summer collection. The colors are vibrant, they're strong, they're heavily, heavily pigmented. And, uh, and you know what, any time you want to turn a color into a neon, take Winnie Wong's advice and put a layer of white first. Like it works every time. It's yep. the Winnie Wong number one trick. Yes. So, um, so thank you, you guys. Thank you for that input on your love of neons and bright color. Um, we, we will take that to heart. I think you'll really love summer when it comes down the pike. Winnie! Winnie White! <laughs> and banana clip. I, I love that color. I, that should be, a, maybe we'll make that a throwback Thursday. This yeah. Week. Totally. So, Could I just turn any color into a neon? We yep. have our ways. We have our tricks. Yes. For sure. So rounding the bend, hang in there with us, you guys. We're just rounding the bend on three Cs. We've covered care, which is essential, uh, and to customize that for each client, we covered condition, and we beat that horse dead. We know why it's so important to condition those nails and lock in that moisture for flexibility. And the final C is coat. Coat. All right, our nails don't breathe. It's dead keratin. And when you think, Samantha, I always think of you over in the UK, when Samantha graduated boot camp, her presentation was done on the natural nail and how it grows. And she talked about the little squidgy babies, the little new nail cells back in the nail matrix, and how as those cells grow, they scooch under that eponychium proximal nail fold, they flatten, they layer together, almost like cement, those cysteines and proteins, nail them down, lock them in into this platelet. <laughs> and then the nail grows, the squidgy babies become real hard pieces of keratin. And when you think of a nail, by the time it goes from squidgy baby all the way to the extension edge, those layers of nail plate are what, two, three months old? Yeah. And they're like a brick wall with kind of a faulty, um, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the stuff that glues it together. Like you... grout, the grout? Yeah, like the grout. And through wear and tear and water and soap and hand washing, that erodes away. And the layers want to separate. So the key to keeping your nails coated is that you're sealing that edge. You're putting a layer of protection Whatever you need, again, from the blessed nails, Vinylux and shellac, to the curse nails, ski jump nails, bitten nails, fan-shaped nails, need a stronger coating. But whatever it is you choose for your client, make sure it's right for their nail type, their lifestyle, their maintenance schedule. But make sure that they realize that keeping the dead keratin, right, keeping the nails coated, acts as a like a bumper 
around the nail. So as you're cooking and doing and moving and, and typing on your computer, you're getting resilient activity. You're using the solar oil um, every night to keep it even more tough and resilient. And what you end up with is beautiful, lasting protection. That's what a good coating does. So, so you know, I think uh, some clients say, well, which one is better? You know, is it better to just wear no. shellac or better to just wear liquid and powder? You know, it depends on your need. And once you find that magic combination, like for me, that's the, the key to being a professional, right? Asking the right questions, getting to the root of, you know, what their particular need is, understanding their nails, and then keeping a careful eye on them. That first rebalance or that first removal, whatever it is, you, you really need to scrutinize. How did we do? Did we make the right call? And if we didn't make the right call, the next time, let's make an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Like I can always tell on my own nails, mm -hmm. they get too long. That's when issues occur. Um, so, so in many cases, it's not just the right coating, but it's the nail length and it's the nail shape. Find that combination that, that works for everyone. So coatings, I'm, you know, it's, um, it's something that really sets us apart in the nail profession. Um, clients cannot do it at home themselves. They cannot. It requires special education, the right touch, um, and an understanding of nail anatomy, knowing those once squidgy babies became a hard layer of keratin, and, and that needs to be protected and it needs to be reinforced. This is really key. Yeah. And I, know, I think there were some really good comments there, Rox. Did you catch them? Um, there's some comment. There's some comments going on about some shellac troubleshooting, which is awesome because this is exactly the the community that that, that we want to create. So help each other out, and we'll. If there are some questions, we'll go back after the um, live, and we'll make sure to direct message you, get all your questions answered. Again, this is um, this is one the first of many education opportunities coming your way uh, from CND to give you the base facts, the knowledge that you need to um, sort of tack on top of what you already know. So, uh, so can I share, can I share something, Rox? Yeah. Sorry, to, sorry to interrupt. This was so fascinating to me. Over the weekend, I was talking to a nail pro. I don't even know where she lives, but she was saying that her own nails and a couple of her clients' nails are very oily. And she'll do a manicure, she'll use scrub fresh to really clean it, and then she'll apply her product. And within two days, she's getting peeling or lifting issues. And, um, and so this is so interesting. In the salon I go to, I notice that many of the nail pros plug their LED lamp into an extension cord, then the extension cord into the wall plug and we researched that in the laboratory and found that it reduced output of the lamp, which is really interesting. So if you find you're getting peeling or premature separation in using shellac, it should last you 14 plus days unequivocally if you're going super thin and you're curing correctly. Um, but check and see if you're using an extension cord Try plugging directly into the wall, and it may make a big difference in terms of the level of output. So yeah. give it give it a try, you know. Also that trick of scrub fresh the nail, but if you've got oily nail plates, hit it with a little nail fresh as a like an insurance policy. Very interesting. Good. Good, good tips, friend. Good, good tips. tips. Good. All right. Well, there you have it the three C's of nail care that have been really, really foundational uh, core to CND. And, and really, um, whenever, like Jan said, back in the beginning, when the media comes calling with all kinds of questions, the questions are the same. Everybody wants to know the same, how to keep their nails healthy, how to make their polish last longer, how to keep their nails from chipping, breaking, peeling, all of those questions. And it all comes down to the three C's, care, condition, coat. 
And when you really understand all of those three C's, you have the education and the knowledge to, to teach your clients how to take care of their nails, um, separate facts versus myth, and, and instill the proper knowledge so that they can, they can make the right decisions to care for their own nails. Now, uh, and, and sorry, I can't help myself. I have one more super, super important tip. This is super. Thank you. Who said Nail Fresh, Melissa Peachy? Nail Fresh is the nurse in the bottle. She is the ultimate dehydrator. But here's what really turned my CPL around, if I can like really share this, is dry prep, dry prep. This is key. And this has been a few years ago now. I stopped doing any kind of softener of the cuticle, even though I've got like hardcore heavy duty cuticles. When we stopped using any kind of moisturizer prior to my application and went dry prep, my adhesion went like that. Mm -hmm. dry prep. So that means taking the curette, you know, finding the cuticle with the pusher, taking the curette and removing that cuticle, then doing like really making sure it's clean double hitting it with scrub fra um, nail fresh just to make sure it's as dry as possible one hand at a time do application then scrub fresh nail fresh the other hand do application and I want to tell you short of these two fingers I still get a little bit of CPL but on my other fingers I'm good to go. It really, really, really works. So, but if you guys, dry prep is the ultimate trick. Love dry prep, Winnie says. Yes, they love and it. Dry pep too. Yeah. And you know, the key to dry prep, pep, is the curette. Yeah. If you haven't tried mm -hmm. a curette, Rox, explain, do you have one? Um, Can you explain the curette? Hold on. Dry, grab your curette. Oh, there it is. I'm Never sorry. keep home without it. Out. I don't know what's happening. Um, it's getting really dark and cloudy out, so I'm losing my light. But oh. a curette is a double-ended double uh, little scooper, and it's it almost is, I call it a scooper, because you ride it on the top of the nail plate, and what it does is kind of like a little skin finder. You know, it finds any bits of skin that are attached or stuck to the natural nail plate, and you can then just sort of loosen them and pull them away without having to cut and nip and really aggravate um, that, that epinicium and that cuticle area so it really is oh my gosh power tool if you don't have a curette, um, you should get one and you should make it a part of your regular manicuring and I I mean you will see major, major difference major difference and I'm I'm seeing comments where they're saying what no cuticle away before listen if you have a client returning for regular appointments um, you know, like all of us, we, we're always, you know, wearing nails, wearing nail services. We're employing home care, that washcloth at home, using your cuticle cocktail, making sure that area is clean. Listen, it's a partnership, you guys. We've yeah. got to get our clients partnering with us on cuticle care. But if we do that, when the client comes in, and you use the pusher, probe with the pusher. You don't plow with the pusher. You don't push with the pusher. We need to call it something else. It's like a finder. Then the curette can go in very carefully and it can remove that cuticle. You know where I find the most amount of cuticle? Lateral sidewalls. Yeah. Unbelievable yeah. how much cuticle I find. You scoop that out. And then you use your scrub fresh to really remove anything that remains. And, uh, and, and yeah. trust me, if you have clients with CPL, kiss CPL goodbye. Serious. That yeah, I think it really takes everything. Care. It does take the manicure to another level, honestly. Um, we actually give these, uh, we provide these curettes to uh, nail professionals during our, is it the master painter? It's the master 
extra class. It's still a reward in the class. So we'll have to figure something out during this time where we don't have live classes to um, maybe we'll do a little giveaway in the coming weeks for the CND wow. Curat. How many do you have? Um, I have to look. I don't want to commit. Huh? Just <laughs> but let Let's me look. do it again, and we'll, we'll do it. it. We'll do it. Curat I'm contact. Sure friends i'm sure our friends in the education um department will help us out jan so let's make that happen because you guys are okay game changer for real yeah and we have to call it something better winnie yeah. says we have to call it the scoopy the scoopy, scoopy. Yeah. i like that you didn't get um, one in your class okay somebody didn't get one in their class so uh, let's do uh, a giveaway we'll, we'll do a giveaway give and okay. i think Take too much away because tomorrow we've got CND educator Shalina Robinson. Shalina is going to be giving us all of the technical tips for um, for manicuring, and I'm sure we um, I'm sure she's going to reiterate some of the comments that we said today and some of the great tips today. So um, so that's coming tomorrow. We've got Winnie up on Wednesday, also giving us the DIY home, home hacks for natural nail care. So it's all about care this week. So share, I mean, you know, Jan, if you have any other comments on caring, otherwise you've got a curette and you've got a curette and you've got a curette. Okay, you guys, we're going to have a curette mini oh, melon no. baller. Somebody just said mini melon baller oh, yeah. moment. And I think in a ceremonial fashion, we should all, we should all condition Let's condition. And you know what else I forgot to talk about? And then I know we have to go. I don't want to go. This is fun. I don't want to go. So also, you guys, solar speed. I'm going to condition while you're talking. Do you love it? So I do solar speed spray all over myself. Um, what are you doing? I, you're spraying that? <laughs> I, I just spray it everywhere because, hey, it's got jojoba and E. How You can't go wrong. Right. So is oh, everyone God. conditioning your nails condition? Okay. Uh, oh, amazing. Amazing. All right, guys. Well, Rox, good to see you. I miss you. Goodbye, everyone. Good to see you. Be well. And if we found this educational, I don't want to go. Do we have to go? We I have mean, go. I have, um, <laughs> no. We you have work to do? Hey, we could just be here all day. Is that an excuse? You have work to do? Dear God. Uh, hmm. Samantha. Samantha. What is, Samantha, are you in your bunny slippers? I want to know what Samantha is wearing. Jan, I want to leave the team, though, with, um, with a little teaser to stand by on a very, very, very important message for me later on this week. So we'll just leave them with that. Yes, um, for sure. You'll, you'll hear back from me tomorrow. So look for it. And thank you guys. Thank you for allowing us to have a little bit of fun to do talk it. about Let's what do we it. love. What's that? Winnie told us to do a dance. I'm not sure, like right now. Okay, hold on. Like, should we dance? <laughs> We leave you with that friends thank you for joining cnd and we look forward to seeing you again bye everyone it was bye, bye keep dancing love you